What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Austin Alexander and I make videos about you know military stuff, lifestyle stuff. And if you're wondering, I don't usually wear these glasses. These are my BCG glasses. Now, most of you will get issued these, but um, they're called BCG because BCG stands for birth control glasses. The rumor was that if you're wearing these, you won't need to worry about birth control because nobody will want to touch you. I'm sitting up here on my porch right now in Alabama, we, we call it a porch. Anybody else do that? I've heard like balcony and stuff like that, but this is a porch to me, even though it's like three stories up. Today's kind of a busy day, but I am gonna walk down to the boardwalk here shortly and talk about some things. But first, like, as y'all are watching these videos, y'all pick out the smallest things that I, I never even noticed. And, and I think somebody asked me like what I put in my hair. Somebody asked me like what kind of watch I have. Actually, that's been the most popular question is what kind of watch I have so I'm gonna break it down for you real quick this watch was a gift now I used to have the Suunto core military but this is a Garmin called the Phoenix 3HR they do make a Phoenix 5 but it's like $600 this one was more like eh, about 350 now you can change the watch faces on it you can change the way they look there's an app you download and you can change the colors and everything now the band is from a third party it's from Amazon so um, the band was like eight bucks and the watch was like 330 something so if you want to get one I'll put a link down below in the description but I don't really recommend this watch because it's big and it's thick all right so I'm gonna finish my little drink drink and then we're gonna go down to the boardwalk I wanted to make this video to highlight a few things that I've said or that I will say. Now I must warn you, my channel is a positive outlook channel which means I usually focus on the positives. This is because I choose to be happy and focus on the good moments rather than the bad ones. My intention isn't to steer you wrong or misguide you, it's to build you and motivate you for the things that will possibly happen in your future. You let me down. I understand everyone's story is different. May absolutely hate your job or hate the military. So in this video, I'll focus on the negatives. But don't get used to that. I think you guys that are consistently watching my videos, I think you will notice a commonality between all of them and it's that I'm positive and I like to portray myself as positive because I really am and I realize not all situations are positive but I try my best to make the best out of them and that's kind of one of what I want to talk about today is because most of you that watch my videos, you see them and you see me take like a negative situation and make it into a positive one and there's a certain point there that I think my credibility starts to fade a little because I portray everything to be positive. Well, I wanted to make this video to kind of switch it up and go against the grain a little bit because I know the military is not all positive and that's what I want to hit on today. The parts that I have told you about and what I've told you, all my stories, they have been completely 100% true. All of my experiences 100% true. I've told you the times that I was sad, the times that I was happy, and I'm not meaning to sound soft or anything. I'm just opening up a little bit to you guys. So today, this video is going to be a little different. Instead of saying the positives, today I want to say the negatives. And I've broken it down to three things that I can't stand about the military, okay? Now, I'm not saying I can't stand the Navy because I love the Navy. I love the military, honestly. But today, I'm picking out the things that I do not like about the military. So number one, I know you've all heard this, hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait means you are super, super rushed and most of the time you're always rushed to be somewhere where you don't need to be that early. So take for instance, you have a mandatory PT session. It starts at eight and the military is telling you, hurry up, hurry up, I want everybody there by seven. Well, they're just rushing you. You know, seven comes and you're there at seven. You know, you've struggled and you rushed to get there at seven but then PT doesn't start until zero nine. This happens all the time. It happens with training. Man, I, I can't even tell you how much it happens. Like throughout my whole military career, and it's a military thing, I understand it. And I've come to realize that it's just a part of it. So let's say you'll, you'll have a training and you'll hear, oh, our chief wants everybody there at 1500. Well, you show up at 1500 and training literally doesn't start until 17 or 1730. I'm not thinking of a specific instance. I'm just saying like, this has happened to me so many times. So I wish there was a more organized way of doing things. Number two, the fact that nothing in the military is guaranteed. So I'm gonna 
tie this into a story, but I just want to summarize it. So nothing in the military is guaranteed. Okay, somebody could tell you one thing, something else completely different could happen. And this has happened to me on, on several instances. Like, And not to just use my example, I know some of you guys are thinking, like, this has happened to me as well. But um, for my example, so the orders that I wanted, so I was in Bahrain, skip forward, first command I was at, Bahrain, I was up for orders, and you have three looks. You have first look where you get to pick, second look you get to pick your orders, and third look where you get to pick your orders. If you don't get selected by your third look, the Navy will slam you with orders. So what I did is I went to my senior chief and I said, senior, there's some orders up in Little Creek that I really, really want for the Coastal River on Squadron. We'll go to Gulfport for some additional training and some more sea schools, but I really, really wanted this job. I said, senior, I said, can you give me this job? He said, yeah, hold on. He made a phone call to the detailer, which is the person who assigns jobs. And the detailer was like, all right, cool. I'll I'll pencil him in, he's got it. And I was like, sweet. And I was like, so, so excited. And you know, I was telling everybody, I was like, mom, I'm coming to, coming to Little Creek. I was like, told all my friends, I'm coming to Little Creek, Virginia. And I was like, yes, I'm, I'm really going to Little Creek. And then right before um, the third look ended, so it's the third look, my detailer called, he said, hey, sorry, these orders aren't available anymore. I don't really know what happened there. The only thing I heard was the orders aren't available anymore. He said, you get a pick, you get a pick between the Bahamas, Lemoore, California, or like Bangor. I was like, Bahamas, I've heard bad things about the Bahamas. I know y'all are thinking, they get to go to the Bahamas? But I think the Bahamas, it's like a really secluded base. I'm not really sure, sorry. Somebody from the Bahamas may want to fill me in on that. But I looked up Lemoore, I said, it's in California with a squadron. And I was like, all right, give me Lemoore. So just to summarize this story, nothing in the military is guaranteed, okay? I've, I've been told things like, you'll get this, you'll get that, that I haven't gotten. And so just remember, nothing is really guaranteed in the military. Number three is, is the training. Now I know, I understand Navy, I understand that you have to put us through this training because you don't know who's got it, you don't know who's really listening to it. So you have these trainings that you have to do every fiscal year starting in October. And there's like, I don't know, there's like 10 to 15 little online courses that you do. And I've, I've done these every single year. I know everybody in the military has done it. They do get annoying because they're constantly on you about them and they're like, Bam, 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 gotta get your training, gotta get your training, even though you do the same exact one every single year. But I understand because a lot of it's about uh, DUI and sexual assault and stuff like that, so you have to go through it. I completely understand that. So, guys, the main reason I wanna make this video is to kinda come down to earth a little bit and to fill you in on the negatives. I know I, I wanna keep this channel as positive as I can, and even to like the negative comments, I usually don't respond to them because I just, I don't like to think about negativity. I like to separate myself from it. All right, all right. So enough of the negativity. It's 8.20 right now. So I'm gonna eat some pan, I got some pancakes waiting on me and I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm super, super excited. So I, I've been working on something. It's, uh, hopefully I'll be able to announce it in the, in the next few months, but I'm not sure. I kind of keep that to myself. All right guys, once again, thanks for tuning into this video. Hopefully I'll be able to put out about inconsistent four to five videos per week, if not seven videos per week. So don't hold me to it. Fitness Friday is coming up. Be sure to check that out. And I will see you guys on the next video.